Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Cider Pop Central. I was in two minds as to whether to put this in a Cider Pop Central or to do it as a normal review, but when you actually look at the ingredients on the can, it is most definitely a cider pop. Today, we're back with the Thatcher's Cider Company once again. Um, I can't even remember how many ciders I've done of theirs, but it's got to be in the good double figures by now. And today, it's their, well, their latest affair, although it has been around for a good couple of years now. It's their summer edition, Cloudy Lemon Cider, which is in these 500ml cans, as you can see here. In fact, in fact I tell a lie, they're 440ml cans. Um, and like most things of this ilk, it's 4% ABV. Now, I will give a little bit of credit to Thatcher's. They don't seem to delve into the mixed fruit or cider pop um, market that often. Um, in fact, the last one that I remember them doing was their mixed fruit, and I reviewed that about seven years ago. Um, I'll pop a card up on the top of the video so you can go and check that out afterwards. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, this is pretty much the only other like fruit-infused cider that they've ever done. They tend to stick with traditional apple ciders. Um, Got to say, big thanks to uh, my workmate Jack for donating this can over to me. He actually bought a four pack and um, he knows that I do these videos. So he said, you know, do you want one? It's like, yeah, go ahead. I'll, um, I'll give it a go. So yeah, big thanks to Jack for this one. So what can I tell you about this? Well, Thatcher's Cloudy Lemon Cider, zingy and refreshing, made with real lemons. I mean, that's... You know, that's promising, but when you actually look at the ingredients, they sort of counteract that. It says, cider with lemon juice from concentrate and natural flavours. So they've put real lemons in here, and then they've just put, like, lemon juice concentrate in as well. Which sort of defeats the objective of actually putting real lemons in it. So, a little bit of false advertising there, saying that you're putting real lemons in it, and then adding something artificial on top of that. But hey-ho. Um... It's not all about that, it's all about how it smells and tastes, isn't it? So what else can I tell you about it? The perfect balance of sharp notes from real lemons and sweetness from specially selected dessert apples to create a zingy and refreshing cider. Best served chilled, gluten-free, suitable for celiacs, vegetarians and vegans. So all the bases are covered there. Contains sulfites for freshness, as is standard with most of these things. Um, one other thing that I must say is you can only get these in four can packs. Why not sell the cans separately, or even better, bottle it like you did your rosé cider not too many months ago? Because that started off in four, pack can, four can packs, and then they released it singly in 500ml bottles as well. Do the same with this, because this four pack of cider would have cost seven quid. And if you're not going to like it, that's quite a lot of money that you've just wasted. So, guess that's why I'm here, I guess, so you can sort of see what you make of it before you actually buy it. So, here we go. Let's get this can open and get it poured out. Let's get in the old uh, Thatcher's small glass here. Now, I have a feeling I know what the colour is going to be, but we'll see. There we go. I'll stop there. Hefty old foot. Whoa, that is a lot of carbonation. Blimey. Look at that foot. Listen to that. Just a second. There you go for all you uh, ASMR enthusiasts out there. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much exactly what I thought the colour was going to be. Really heavily carbonated, as you can see right there. Look at all those bubbles rising to the top of the glass. But yeah, it literally does look... I, I would imagine it was going to be a little bit cloudier than this, but it's only translucent. So I suppose there's, you know, a little bit of cloudiness to it, but... It's, Expected it to be completely opaque, but there you go. Sort of looks like a lemonade that you would get, you know, all those many, many years ago when, you know, kids would build a stall outside their house and sell, you know, homemade lemonade um, to the masses. Sort of reminds me of that. But what does it smell like? I tell you what, I'm actually not getting a lot on the nose at all. Oh, that's really weird. A slight, a slight hint of lemon. But yeah, actually not a lot there at all. Oh, that's really weird. I expected this to be like just full on, full on like, you know, I don't know, lemon cleaner or something like that. Yeah, there is nothing to that at all. Oh, I guess it's going to be in the taste then, isn't it? So let's find out. Cheers, everyone. And here's to, uh, well, Thatcher's with their cloudy lemon offering. Cheers.
Okay. That is literally lemonade. That is like I've just gone to the supermarket and I've just bought a two litre bottle of Schweppes lemonade and I'm just drinking that. I mean, it's not bad, but I would definitely not say that this was a cider that you just gave me. I mean, yeah, I'll definitely say refreshing. Good for a hot summer's day. There is some nice flavours there, some nice, you know, fresh lemon flavours. But would I call it a cider? No, definitely not. There is nothing to tell you, unless you actually saw the glass or the, or the um, can, that this was a cider that I'm drinking right now. It literally does just taste of lemonade. For me, this is going to be really hard to judge because there's some nice flavours there. The lemon flavour tastes like fresh lemons, not just... You, I don't know if you guys remember those small 200ml Panda Pop bottles that you used to get, the, the really like cheap lemonade, or even if you go into the supermarkets now and get own brand lemonade, it definitely has that sort of cheap taste to it. You're not getting this here, you are getting fresh lemons on the flavour but there's nothing nothing to do with cider in this at all so this is going to be really hard to judge for me because it's definitely I would say this is definitely not a cider it is most definitely a cider pop because there's nothing to say that this has um, got any sort of apples in it at all it is a little bit on the sweet side they're saying it's going to be zingy and refreshing but it's definitely more on the sweet side uh <clears throat> I don't know. Let's go for a final taste before a final verdict. I mean, yeah, it does its job well. You know, it is refreshing. It's... Yeah, as I say, it's got some nice flavours behind it. But to call it a cider, I wouldn't say it is. It was a bit of a weird one, Thatcher's going along with this, because as I said, they don't normally go into this sort of area of the of the cider market. Uh, I mean, I can see it appealing to people because it is definitely a refreshing drink, but I definitely wouldn't market it as a cider. Uh, oh man, what am I going to rate this? It has got some nice flavours. I think I'm going to rate it just based on the flavours and what I'm getting from it. It is a nice drink, but what I will say is... Don't go into it thinking that it's a cider because it's most definitely not. Uh, with that said, I am going to go and give Thatcher's Cloudy Lemon a 6 out of 10. Uh, especially for the price point as well. As I said, four cans are going to be 7 quid average for this. Um, it's hard, unless they start actually canning it separately or putting it into bottles... I don't know if I can recommend this for that price tag. That is a little bit expensive for what is essentially alcoholic lemonade. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure Fentimans, um, they're quite well known for doing just like cloudy lemonades and stuff. I'm pretty sure they have an alcoholic cloudy lemonade. And this is sort of pretty much identical to that, but for a much lower price point. So, I don't know. If they start bottling it separately, I would say maybe give it a go. But as it's a four pack for such a high price... I don't know, if someone offers it to you, like my workmate did with this one, definitely try it and give it a go. But otherwise, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this one. But with that said, that's another episode of Cider Pop Central for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, I am trying to stifle in the burp because it is very carbonated. And um, yeah, I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Till next time.